Why is this uh, topic important? I, as most of you are aware, uh, within most of us with our medical practices, if we use oxytocin, we learn how to use it in helping to deliver babies. Uh, what we have not uh, kept up with is what happens in the human body when there is missing oxytocin. Now it turns out that uh, <clears throat> we meet oxytocin in different ways and um, here's what happens is, is that for every one of you that had sex last night, when you had that orgasm, your oxytocin levels inside your brain or inside your body went up 365%. The hormone that helps you to have orgasms is oxytocin. When uh, you will see this in your medical practices because if you look at uh, all women age 40 and above, you will find out that about 40% of women above age 40 have problems with anorgasmia, lack of being able to have orgasms. Now, <clears throat> having said that, what is the hormone that controls the female libido? I'm going to give you a scenario. If you take a woman and you do a hysterectomy on her, well, let's, let's take a male and you, do, you take off his testicles. He instantly loses his sex drive, right? Come on, I need to see some head shaking, yeah. If you do a, take a woman and you, inst, and you take away her gonads, does she instantly lose her sex drive? No. What hormone is it that controls the female sex drive? Huh? Testosterone? We just took off our gonads. Huh? The adrenal? And what is it in the adrenal that controls the female sex drive? DHEA. The number one, actually, this was published in the JAMA just a, uh, three or four years ago, where they did comparison studies with different hormones and the, the relationship to sex drive. And what they found was is that there was a higher correlation with DHEA and sex drive than there was with testosterone. So uh, what ends up happening is, is that the drive for women to have relations is DHEA controlled. How much you need somewhere, if they're less than 25 years old, they usually, I'm sorry, less than 50, they need about 25 milligrams a day. If they're greater than 50 years old, they need about 50 milligrams a day. You know the most wonderful thing about DHEA? It's over the counter. You don't need a prescription for DHEA. As a result, uh, the theme, women can have an increase in sex drive do you know with a hormone that's available over the counter they don't need a prescription to get their sex drive back five zero milligrams above age 50. now the highest levels of dhea in the female occur at age 32. so if you have a female age 32 coming in and she says i have no desire what has she basically told you my DHEA levels are low. So you need to check first her DHEA levels. Now, if you take Prozac, uh, the SSRIs and those type of medications, they decrease orgasmic function, but they don't decrease drive. Drive is controlled by DHEA. So drive controls DHEA. What controls orgasmic function? Oxytocin, okay? So that's where we're going to go next. A historical overview of oxytocin, we're going to uh, go over that, its structure and measurements, tissues that produce oxytocin, mechanisms of action, oxytocin pathological conditions, and the use in different diseases. Oxytocin was first discovered as the hormone, and its name means quick birth. Uh, it was discovered by Dr. Dale back in 1906, research in pregnancy with, by the use of ergots, 
and adrenaline and posterior pituitary extracts. He discovered that there was something in the extracts from the posterior pituitary that stimulated the uh, birth of a baby. By 1910, uh, this posterior pituitary extract was being used in medicine and worldwide by 1913. So imagine, they discovered it in 1906. By 1910, it was just, you know, being used to stop postpartum hemorrhage. And by 1913, within a period of, uh, a very short period of time, oxytocin was being used worldwide in the treatment of postpartum hemorrhage. Uh, oxytocin, it turns out, you know, we were trained oxytocin produced in the back of the pituitary. But it turns out that oxytocin is produced in a lot of other tissues other than the pituitary. It's uh, produced in the retina, and uh, it, uh, has, it's produced in the pineal gland. It's produced in the ovary, the oviducts, the testicles, the adrenals, the thymus, the pancreas, the uterus, the placenta, and the prostate. Uh, and, the, and in the ovary, it can also be produced by the corpus luteum. Now, to give you an illustration, uh, what does oxytocin do in the pineal gland? What is the main function of the pineal? <clears throat> now, let me just step back. If you look at um, oxytocin, uh, whenever you have relations, for all of you women that are here, you'll notice that you give your man an, uh, an orgasm, and within about two or three minutes, what's he doing? He's sound asleep. What is, you know, oxytocin, you know, if I gave you thyroid hormone and uh, exogenous thyroid hormone, I would suppress the ability of the thyroid to make more thyroid hormone. If I gave you uh, cortisol, I can suppress the making of cortisol by the adrenal. But oxytocin is unique. When you give oxytocin, it stimulates the body to make more oxytocin. Now, there's a big surge of oxytocin at the level of the pituitary at the time of an orgasm. But then what happens is you'll see an increased surge of oxytocin in all these other tissues.